on everybody? How are you doing? My name's Robert. Welcome to the video lessons. So I thought it might be kind of a cool idea to do this video on uh, five very overused pentatonic licks, just rock and roll pentatonic licks, and uh, that just still sound awesome. You know, I, I think no matter how many times we use them and play them, uh, and all kinds of different players still use them and play them, they will always just sound good for some reason. You know, it's just it's their staples among you know rock guitar. And um, I was just playing them, I was like, you know, these are just like such you know, staple licks. You hear Eddie Van Halen, Jimmy Page, uh, Zach Wilde, all these different eras of kind of like guitar legends use these licks. So if you'd like tabs for this lesson, they are just chilling over on my website, waiting for you with lesson packs, all that stuff, waiting for you to come say hi. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in with this descending pentatonic run that you've heard a million times before. All right, so lick number one is this E minor pentatonic lick. It is totally Jimmy Page inspired. It goes like this up to speed. So what's happening here? It's just this really nice little repeating sequence straight through our pentatonics. Now you could move this into other boxes, but we're just keeping it in box number one. It goes like this. That's 15 pull off 12 on the high, then 15 on the B. And then back to 12 on the high E. So, then you go back to the B string and it is 15, pull off 12. So, okay. Now, after you do that, that's pretty much what the whole lick is. And so, I would just start with getting that first one down. Now, once you have that, we're just going to simply move it up a string each time. So, we're going to go to the B string, it's 15, pull off 12, 14 on the G. And 12 on the B, and then 14 pull off, 12 on G. Then you just move up another string, 14 to 12 on the G, 14 on the D, 12 on the G, 14 to 12 on the D. So, up again, same exact thing. And this one you're going to go 14, 12 on the A, 15 on the low E, back to 12, and 15, 12 on the low E. So real slow. One. So look number two is another total rock and roll staple that goes like this. So what we're doing here is we're bending 14 on the G up a full step, then 12 on the B and high E. Notice I roll my index finger. Then I go 15 pull off 12 on the B with my pinky. So, and that's literally it. You just cycle it. Now sometimes like uh, Zach Wilde has a real cool moment where he does basically this like he follows the chord. It's in an Ozzy solo. I can't remember. Um, and those aren't the right chords, but uh, that's another one of those staple licks that you hear all the time and it just literally always sounds cool no matter what. Alright, so lick number three is this total Zach Wilde, Randy Rhodes kind of tune up per string thing that they had going on out of their pentatonic. So I still, like I said, today hear people and even modern bands actually doing these licks is what's funny, uh, like radio bands. So um, here's this lick, it's a little more aggressive than what you might hear on the radio, but same idea. <laughs> So what's happening? I'm just simply going up an E minor pentatonic scale on two strings, and I'm doubling the sequence. So I'm going seven to four on the G, and seven to five on the D. Then I do it again. Okay, move up, and I'm going to go uh, nine to seven on the G and the D. Up again, twelve to nine on the G and D. Okay, up one more time. I'm going to go fourteen twelve. So. Now I slid up to 17 on the G, or sorry, 19 on the G, I was just kind of being dumb. <laughs> and I bent up to that 21, so. Just seemed like a Zach Wilde ripoff kind of move, so I went with it. 
So like number four is another one of those that always just sounds cool to me. It's very aggressive. It's not real difficult to play, but I just love the way it sounds. So it goes like this. <laughs> So what's happening here? I'm starting out like this. So two different bends are happening. So I'm going 12 on the high E. Then I go 15-12 uh, on the B. And this is all picked by the way. Then I'm bending 15 up a full step on the B. Then I go back to 12 on the high E. 15-12 on the B. And then bend 14 on the G up a full step. You can kind of see how that one was working. Like I said, not very complicated, but it just sounds so cool. You're jamming. So like number five, I figured we'd end it on kind of a doozy. It's a great ascending pentatonic run that works its way up like this. Of course, by now you know all these are out of E minor, uh, and it's, it's actually another pretty simple pattern, but like, like again, you know, constantly being used. So I'm going to go 15 plus 12 on the low E, and I pick 15 again, so then it's 12 on the A, 15 on the low E, and 12 on the A again. Then I move down a string and do the exact same thing, it's kind of like the first one we did. Uh, we're going to go 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, down another string, 14, 12, 14. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12. Bending up to that root note. We're nice and slow, you'd be looking at it like this. Alright homies, that is going to wrap it up for us here today. Make sure you grab those tabs on the website. Link down below, I don't know, high five, coming in fast, that's for show. Later, everybody.